Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing very, very well. Today we're going to be talking about my autumn capsule wardrobe, autumn essentials. I do not have a capsule wardrobe. If you watched my previous video, which was a which was an organisation video, you would have seen that I do not have a capsule wardrobe. I wish I did, but it's just not possible. Um, however, if I did, these would be the building blocks to my autumn capsule wardrobe. As always, I will link everything which I'm talking about in the description box. For your reference, I am 5 foot 8. This knit which I'm wearing is old, so I can't link it, but I will link an alternative, which I'll talk about in a second. And this necklace is from Monica Vinader, and I'll also link this ring as well, which I'm wearing. So let's do this okay where i live it's getting pretty cold and my normal blazers are just not cutting anymore they're just a little bit too thin but what i do love during this autumn season you know when you get into the depths of autumn kind of where we're going towards i do love a good wool blazer and i have this one here from and other stories this blazer is absolutely absolutely gorgeous it's in this rich brown color this is probably this is probably my favorite color to wear during autumn winter this, for me it's incredibly versatile i'm even wearing a knit in this color they do this blazer in multiple different shades they have a black one they have like a a taupey beige color um but yeah they do them every single year they had them last year they have them this year they're very much my style and i like to style blazers in a more casual way and a wool blazer just gives me that extra one which I need. The next essential which I'm going to be talking about are trench coats. It's funny actually because everything which I have here has tags on it. I have no intentions of returning these items here but I often forget to take the tags out so do so I do apologize about that. I do love a trench coat and I pretty much wear them all year round even in summer and sometimes even in winter. Trench coats are usually associated with spring and um, I love wearing them during autumn as well. I just feel like they're incredibly versatile. They're probably my go-to jacket. I have quite a few trench coats so I can't link the majority of my trench coats however this one is relatively new. I think I showed you this in August and um, it's from Warehouse. You can get 15% off of this trench coat. It's absolutely gorgeous. I am quite picky when it comes to trench coats. I prefer longer line trench coats. I'm on the taller side being 5'8", so I do like one which hits me mid-calf. And I got this trench coat in a size 14, however I would, wouldn't would recommend sizing up because it comes quite oversized, so um, I would probably just stick to my usual size 12. The next essential which I'm going to be talking about, ooh, the lighting. Sorry about the lighting, it's just completely changed. This is what this is what's annoying about filming in the evening just because the lighting can be very off. The next essential which I'm going to be talking about are thin knits, turtlenecks. I find that autumn can be a bit hit or miss when it comes to the weather. Some days are warmer than others and some days are really cold. I find that thin knits are perfect for the season because they keep you warm but not too warm. And I do love a turtleneck as well, especially as we move towards the cold months. I do love a good cashmere thin knit. I picked one up from uni last year in the black friday sale i will be picking up more this year the next essential which i'm going to be talking about are faux leather trousers i have again i have a lot of faux leather trousers i have straight leg skinny faux leather trousers i have jogger style faux leather for leather trousers they are just a classic they will never in my opinion they will never go out of style personally my favorites are straight leg for leather trousers and my absolute favorite are the ones from abercrombie so these i feel like they're called the vegan leather trousers or something like that these fit incredibly it is quite hard to find a good pair of fur leather trousers that fit well and look good and feel good these ones have a stretch on them and they just hug your body they look amazing they feel amazing i would highly highly recommend the ones from abercrombie if for whatever reason you're not into fur leather trousers then just a good classic pair of trousers will take you very far when it comes to autumn winter styling i have a couple here i have these cream ones which i haven't stopped banging on about from h&m i found a really good alternative on bershka so i will link that one so i'll link that one in the description box because i think these ones are sold out and then I also have them in black and I've worn the black ones a lot. Uh, yeah, I've worn these ones 
a lot and i think i'll wear these the most during autumn winter because i just hibernate in all black clothing and um, but yeah these are some hm are my absolute favorite they've got a really nice weight to them very flattering and um, but if i can't link these ones then i will find alternatives sticking with bottoms the next essential for me are midi skirts so these can be satin midi skirts satin bias mini skirts it can be satin pleated skirts or just a pleated skirt whatever it is i do love a midi length skirt rather than a mini i feel like it just it's more my style i recently picked this one up from mango and i absolutely love it it's just so versatile and i love this chocolatey rich brown tone i feel like this is really classic but you can style it up with chunky boots to make it more fun the next item which i'm going to be talking about are knitted dresses i have loads of knitted dresses and the other day i was going to place a h&m haul to buy more knitted dresses i saw two and i absolutely love them and then i did a wardrobe organized and i was like hmm not sure if i can justify this i recently picked up this one from mango and i love wearing these for my favorite occasion to wear a knitted dress like this is if i'm going out for dinner like in about 20 minutes i'm going out for dinner with a few friends and i think i might wear this because it's comfortable keeps me warm it's effortless but i still look like i've made an effort and it's comfortable so i can eat comfortably and i've not got anything tight on my stomach I hate that feeling. I hate wearing like tight trousers or anything with a tight waistband when I'm about to go eat. I like I like things like this. It's really important for me to um, be comfortable. And then I'm just going to quickly touch on accessories. So when it comes to accessories, handbags, handbags wise, I would just say deeper, richer tones. This can be black or or richer tones such as burgundies. This is um, mulberry small zip base water it's just such a gorgeous bag it's very new to my wardrobe and um yeah i love these kind of rich um burgundy tones for autumn winter and then i also love these rich tan shades this one is from pollen but i will be doing a whole video on my autumn bags so bags which i love to wear during autumn winter so i'll talk more about these bags over there okay and then when it comes to shoes i've got two pairs of shoes which i love to wear during this time of year my favorite type of shoes to wear are chunky boots i have so many chunky boots i have these ones which again are relatively new i actually have a farfetch discount code so i will leave my farfetch discount code uh, in the description box it's josephine and it gets you 10 percent off for new and existing customers um but yeah these boots these boots are absolutely stunning they're from ghani and i love the contrast stitching i think it's such a beautiful uh, feature beautiful touch and then i've also really been loving these knee length boots these ones are from warehouse again you can get 15 percent off of these boots um but yeah these are gorgeous and i'm contemplating whether i'm going to wear these out for dinner with my friends this evening they're black leather boots and they have a square toe that's it when it comes to my autumn capsule wardrobe autumn essentials video i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know if i've missed anything out i feel like i probably could have touched on biker jackets like leather jackets they're definitely another essential which i haven't touched about today i wanted to keep it to 10 but yeah that's it for this video i will link everything in the description box if i can't find the exact item i will link i will link an alternative thank you for watching and i will catch you all in my next video Bye.